Looks like we're coming in hot. Get it? This is it's on fire or whatever. Come on, let's go. Come on, I wanna We've got a timetable to keep here. And I'm not talking about how we gotta rescue Nikolai, I'm talking about how Shark Tank is on in a little bit here. You know I gotta watch that. Your boy Alpha's all about that shark tank. Hey guys, what's going on? I'll here with another video. In this video today, we'll be continuing with Call of Duty 4 Remastered. This mission here is Blackout, and it looks gorgeous. So as you probably know, uh, this is the first time I've played through the campaign. I'm a huge Call of Duty 4 fan, and this is awesome. Um, so we're going to be playing through all the missions, and we'll be reminiscing all the while. Weapons free, all right. So, one of the things I've noticed so far is it seems like Remastered has a much faster pace than Call of Duty 4 had. I don't know, maybe it's just me or... I don't know, I think there's intel in here. There's two guys. There we go. I like how the intel looks like a... Like, like a mid-2000s MacBook Pro. Like, that's what it looked like before. And it still does. And now there's an achievement if you bust all these TVs with Al-Assad on it. And I want to see if it's still in achievements. Uh, see my achievements. Look sharp. Nah, 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 nah. I don't know if these are the same achievements as Call of Duty 4. Uh, rest, yeah, the, the, oh, here it is. This is the one here. Destroy all the TVs showing Al-Assad's speech. That's the one. Press X to me. Yeah, let's make it a favor. Why not? Uh, and we'll keep moving on here. So just a quick thought on the Xbox One because I'm playing on it right now. This is probably the longest stretch of time I've played on the Xbox One since it's come out. Uh, I really just use it to play Madden, to be honest with you. Because you, you probably know how much I love football at this point. So I kind of like the menus and all that stuff. The guides, I guess. I'm still not up to snuff with. Some in front of the door. What? See, this I remember this. I never understood why we'd put... Let's just go in and pop them. You know what I mean? Why are we going to put claymores? I, who the hell knows? All right, we'll do it. There you go. There's your claymore. Now what? Can we get their attention? Well, I don't want to use that. Here, we'll use, we'll, use, we'll use this. There we go. There we go, look at that. I don't know why we had to do that. That, that kind of really not effective. Are they playing chess in here? Who's winning? Got some cans of, of vegetable soup. Interesting. Yeah, these, these graphics are amazing, I gotta say. Really nice graphics. Let's keep moving here. So I believe what happens is we're going to go through this door and Nikolai and his his boys are going to come out of the woods. Guys. No, not Nikolai. No, no, no. We're rescuing Nikolai. We're talking about the camera. There we go. That's who it is. All right. I just want to make sure that... What do they call the subtitles are on? There we go. Sometimes I miss what they're saying. Welcome to the new Russia, I feel welcome now, thank you. What's the target camera? We've got an informant to recover. The M21's on the other side of the hill. The rackets have killed hundreds of civilians in the valley below. Oh no. Not so fast. Remember Beirut? You're with us. Aha. Uh -huh. I guess I owe you one. Bloody right you do. <laughs> Tensions are already growing, we just met him. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna snipe because we have to like help Kamarov's men attack because apparently like the place they're attacking is also where we need to go to rescue our, our, our buddy Nikolai. So, so yeah. Check out the sniper rifle real quick. Oh, look at the scope. That's a new scope. Look at this. As you can probably tell, I remember this very well. Is that house always on fire? Whatever that is. Alright, let's snipe. Feels like we're lower than we were before. Call of Duty 4. Take him out! Here we go! Enemy 
You know, I was really hoping that they didn't ruin the weapon mechanics, because I thought they were perfect in Call of Duty 4. But to be honest with you, it seems like they're almost better. And I know that might sound like, like you know, sacrilege, but kind of seems that way. It's just really, really smooth. Why are you surprised? I guess Gaz is surprised too. No, I don't want to move. The sniping's fun. I like when I can't get hit. Looks like I can't get a hit either. It's a misses in there. Oh. Hey, this house looks like it's falling over. It's like the ending of Casino Royale over here. Looks like we're coming in hot. Get it? This is... It's on fire or whatever. Come well, on, let's go. Come on, I want to... We've got a timetable to keep here. And I'm not talking about how we gotta rescue Nikolai, I'm talking about how Shark Tank is on in a little bit here. You know I gotta watch that. Your boy Alpha's all about that Shark Tank. Pick these guys off. Come on. Now, I remember playing this on Veteran, and this spot right here was impossible, because you used to get so many grenades remember it. Do we have, oh, we have a grenade launcher. That's right, I just remembered. Look at that. Noob tubing them. Oh, wow, these guns, these gun sounds are better. Everything except the Desert Eagle that they ruined. Look at this. Yeah, see, they're still throwing grenades. Damn it. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. Damn. Oh, RPG, take his ass out. There we go. Another grenade. Boom! Four for one, I think. At least three. Let's keep pushing up. Night vision goggles. Thought that would help, but it didn't. Where's... I thought there was somebody right here. Alright, so Captain Price is getting pretty PO'd with this guy, as you can see here from the subtitles. So our informant uh, is Nikolai, and he's been captured, and it seems like he's about to get bumped off, so we gotta go save him, because as Captain Price said so eloquently, we take care of our men, or our friends. No, we, ta we take care of our friends. That's what he said. Come on. You know, the sniping I'm really impressed with is actually in Battlefield 1. I've been doing some sniping in Battlefield 1. It's another game with nice weapon mechanics. I'm actually trying to think of a game with bad weapon mechanics. Like, what's a game... Seems like I'm talking up weapon mechanics. Oh, you know what? I know. I think Bad Company 2. Battlefield Bad Company 2 had some weird weapon mechanics now that I think about it. Pretty odd weapon system in that game. Look at this. Three for three. Four for four. Ah. Gotta come to an end eventually. Now, I'm not sure if they did anything to the, the, the damage multipliers on the guns, which is basically just how many shots a kill is. Let's take out the RPG. There we go. Let's go. Call of Duty 4 has something against power stations. I don't know what it is. This truck right here looks like the, the truck from the ending of Toy Story 2. I don't know why I thought of that. Are there like the, the green aliens in the mirror there now? Final assault. Uh oh, that's it! I start strong arming Kamarov here. So it seems like he was holding out on us here. God, go sit in the corner. Yeah, you tell him. Look at this guy. What a wuss. Uh oh. Coming in hot. Time to repel. Hope these ropes work. You know, I think before you used to have to like control your descent manually. That time you just kind of, we just kind of did it. Let's get this guy in the window here. There we go. The fire. It's kind of a glitchy fire animation there. Oh, I don't remember this. I mean, I remember this part. I don't remember all the explosions. 
You know, I remember on Veteran, this house was also hard here. Like, we had to storm through this house. A lot, of, a lot of people, like, hiding in the corners of rooms. All sorts of stuff. Uh-oh, some guys in this window. Where is he? Seems like I'm kind of too exposed right here. Can I get, can I get a grenade over here? Uh-oh, take this guy out. You know, some of the hardest veteran difficulty missions in the history of Call of Duty are in this game. I think Mile High Club is probably tied with, um... I forget what it... Like, the one where you have to, like, cancel the missiles. I think it's, like, no fighting in the war room or something like that. Two of the hardest missions in any video game of all time, actually, to play those missions on veteran. And, you know, successfully. Uh-oh. It used to be one grenade launcher did it. It's not anymore. Might still, I'm hoping I'm still alive. I'm pretty nicked up. Take a chance to reload everything. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! No, that was... That guy was with us. Sorry. Sorry. He's kind of shooting near me. Hopefully they can patch him up. Let's keep moving. Alright, so Nikolai's in this house right here. Alright, so Gaz is going to go around the back and cut the power. I remember when I first played this, I tried to go around the back with him to, like, see how he does it. And they just tell you to go around the front. You know, let's, let's just do it. Let's see. Guys, do it. See, they never let you see. Oh, okay. I guess now they do let you see him do it. Oh! Nice. I think he didn't get electrocuted. I just remember before, like, I used to go around to try to see how he did it. They used to tell me to go around the front. And to him. Doing this, this stealth piece here. Now, if you don't remember, Modern Warfare 2, the, what was it, like the deluxe edition or the premium or whatever it was, came with night vision goggles. And I have them. I have them somewhere. I don't know where they are. Back in the day, I used to go really hard buying all, like, the deluxe editions and all that. But, uh, not anymore. Not since they... They've kind of disappointed me here in recent years. Where did that guy come from? I just popped him. Yeah, I remember this guy. It's bright in this room here. Uh, so he's in one of these rooms. Is it this one? Uh-oh. I think th this is Nikolai here. Hey, Nikolai, what's up? Stu Stu I don't know what he's saying. Sounds like he's saying, like, Stoiki Mujik. If you've seen the movie Bridge of Spies, you'll know what that means. That's, that was a great movie, Bridge of Spies. Highly, highly recommend you watch Bridge of Spies. Great film. So, we just rescued our guy here not a moment too soon, and now we gotta get to the helicopter, and we have to get him to safety. So, let's get to it. Let's go, let's go, let's go! And Nikolai's such a boss. I mean, he was, like, held hostage here, and now two minutes later, he's back in action. Look at this. Securing the perimeter. Let's hop in. Here we go. Mission accomplished, Captain. Alright, let's go. Wheels up. No, oh, that's next, Nikolai. We're, we're attacking him next. Doing some Charlie Don't Surf. So stay tuned for that.